All right, what is going on? We're back. And uh, this is something that ever since I got it, I used it and then I wanted to use it again and I wanted to use it again. And so we're gonna use it again. Some loose screw shaving, uncomfortably numb. I just love the scent on this shit. Um, it's an incense based scent. I still have no idea what the hell the scent notes are, but there's like this sweet creaminess to it combined with the incense and it almost gives me like this sweet cinnamon type vibe. I know it's not. I know it's not cinnamon, but the incense combined with this creamy sweetness that it just combined those two elements just give this like like sweet cinnamon type vibe and I just love it to me I mean others might think I'm absolutely crazy but that's what I'm getting and I'm sticking to it so loose screw uncomfortably numb we're going at it yet again and uh Water, stearic acid, beef tallow, cocoa butter, glycerin, potassium, shea butter, castor oil, sodium hydroxide, goat's milk, and fragrance. Those are our, our ingredients. So I'll just set that down. Got some pressed into the Lancaster bowl. I think Andre's making some new bowls, so looking forward to that. Going to be using our That Darn Rob and some distilled water here. We'll get that in a second. Gonna be going back to the straight here, my vintage kukri with those Cyrus Blade Works scales. Oops, took a little spill there. And some Oleo Windy City Barbershop. Not necessarily in the same vein whatsoever, but it smells good and that's what I wanna wear. All right, so let's get some of this. So we got a uh, classic American lager, it says. And it uh, looks like they're calling it style, style Musical? Musial? Who knows? <laughs> Can't read that. But it's from uh, Urban Chestnut there. Out of St. Louis, Missouri. So what we're going to do, I don't, uh, I don't have a whole hell of a lot of lockers very often. So when I do get some, I bust out the Pilsner Flute. And I've already had one, if you're wondering <laughs> what that is around the rim. So we're getting fancy. I believe I've showed the Pilsner flute on camera before. But I could be wrong. So we're breaking out the Pilsner flute here. You want to talk about a fancy pan shave. The glass is fancy, but the beer is not. So that's it. All right. Let's ring out the That Darn Rob brush. And get the shave. <clears throat> All right, so got some nice jelly tips there, and we'll get to uh, get to uh, lathering here. Damn, I was at a loss for words for a second. Now the tips on this are super soft, so it's sometimes a little bit difficult to pick up soap, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what we can do here. <clears throat> I know that um, this isn't one of those uh, badger brushes that when it's dry, the tips are crispy. Not so much. I mean, well, maybe ever so slightly. But like my V4 tip knot, that thing is crispy when it's dry. And then you're thinking, damn, you know, there's no way. I just recently heard somebody say this too. You're thinking that there's no way this brush is going to be soft. But that crispiness is almost an indicator of those split tips. Those split ends on the badger hairs. And it actually is an indicator of it being very soft. So we're going to add a little bit more water because I think we're going to need it. So yeah. Um, and this one, I wouldn't say it's crispy like the V4, uh, tip knot, but it's maybe ever so slightly has a little crisp, but the end product once, once, you know, soaked and everything is really nice. I mean, 
super soft tips, decent backbone. It, it's a good overall knot, the that darn Rob Fanchurian knot. And this could be an older batch. I mean, who knows if he has a newer batch now. But um, it is an enjoyable knot to use. It's just sometimes I have troubles with it picking up the soap from the bowl here. Maybe if I was face lathering, it'd be a different story. We're going to add a little bit more. That should probably do us. And yeah, so... As I've used this distilled water over and over and over now, I'm coming to find that it's not building my lather any faster than my normal tap water. And it seems like, you know, every single lather that I create is a good lather. But then again, I'm using high quality products, so is it the lather or the water? I mean, there's no monumental difference that's happening here that's giving me a clear cut benefit from using distilled water. Um, one thing Jack from the Virtual Groom Room described to me is that when he kind of um, runs his water from New Mexico, over his hands it kind of fizzles out and dissipates and so I tried that with my water and I just kind of looked at it and I don't know it's not fizzling or dissipating it seems like it's hanging around and leaving moisture on the skin so maybe just maybe my water isn't as um, hard as I you know once believed Maybe it's actually pretty decent. Now then again, this is according to my new house and not my uh, previous situation where I had well water where I was fairly certain it was somewhat hard, but I could be wrong, you know what I mean? I've never done a test, so all I can say is I'm using good soaps and they seem to perform no matter what water I use. So, that has been my findings. Nothing has jumped out to me about using distilled water. And this is just so nice on the face. And the scent is there, probably 5 out of 10. It's mid, it's not like big and bold and and um just in your face but it's there it's present and um there's enough of it for it to be enjoyed during your shave so i can't complain as soon as you go under five out of ten scent strength i am liable to complain because i like my scent strength <clears throat> All right, that should probably do us. <clears throat> Starting to uh, go on and on like uh, <laughs> like Jack and Chris Maiden with uh, the lathering here. Oh man, that's nice. I don't drink a whole hell of a lot of lagers, but. Uh, I got some in my latest Tavor shipment, and that is nice. I could just swish that around in my mouth until it gets warm, because that was enjoyable. I went live on IG last night. I watched Jack live on IG last night. I watched Chris live on YouTube. Uh, right before I did this video. I wish I could do the YouTube lives, but... You need a thousand subs. 
And uh, I even mentioned that during his thing, during uh, Chris's live. And um, Tim, the scented shoulder, so scented soldier, said, "Hey, you don't need a thousand. You could just use Streamyard online." And so I went to check it out. I set up the StreamYard and I got access to YouTube Live through their, you know, third party site or whatever. But then they wanted me to, they said you can't do it off your phone, which is what I use to do my videos and my streams so I can't use my phone they said you have to use a desktop or a laptop so there goes that I wish I would have said that on the onset so I didn't even waste my time but um, it was worth a try Try to keep a light grip, but a sure grip, you know what I mean? I'm not doing no death grip here, but I am in control. Even with my left hand, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and when I'm not trying to uh, overextend my right hand, I actually don't cut myself, so. I find it's just best. Just like I was recommended. Just go ahead and use the other hand. You know what I mean? Don't even bother trying to be a one-handed shaver. People told me just, it's going to be weird for a while, but just learn with your opposite hand. And uh, that's what I'm doing. And it's working out. It's getting less and less scary using my, my opposite hand. <clears throat> and I don't have to uh, overextend it. Because really I only have trouble with that uh, with the grain pass. I don't have any troubles whatsoever with the against the grain pass. It, it just feels it feels a lot more natural. <clears throat> All right, let me dry my hands. We'll lather up again. Oh, man, and Rick over at uh, Loose, Screw, Loose Screw Shaving, formerly Scent Suds and Steel. You got yourself a badass soap, brother. Can't wait for your next release. This stuff is affordable at three ounces. And just a killer scent you know what I mean I I can't complain even if I wanted to and uh, <laughs> you know Rick told me when I inquired him about the soap Rick told me to be brutally honest I told him <laughs> careful what you wish for <laughs> but I have nothing to bitch about this is good soap And ever since I got it, and ever since I used it that first time, I've been wanting to use it a second time, which is a good sign. And this is, <laughs> you know, I'm not even trying to blow smoke up uh, Rick's ass. This is just a great scent um, in, for me. You know what I mean? Scent is subjective, and and this one is enjoyable to me. I wouldn't classify this as gourmand, but that like sweet cinnamon incense personality that I'm getting from it is just right up my alley. 
Just that darn raw brush is fucking awesome too. <clears throat> I guess I didn't really show it off, but you guys have seen it before. It's that uh, dyed purple burl with um, a black topper and a V4 Fanchurian. <clears throat> I've been really enjoying uh, seeing the DC shaves, uh, David. He's been showing his uh, beers of the day with his shaves. That's fucking awesome. Uh, I really enjoy seeing that. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I was supposed to go against the green. I was kind of... Slap some moisture and use the residual here. Very nice. Definitely has enough residual to do that. Kind of slick, I got to... Make sure I'm stretching the skin. All right, moving right along. I don't know why I clean the blade off so often. I, I notice I clean it off like way more than others, but I just kind of don't like that. Slick soap getting on my fingers while I'm uh, trying to straight razor shave. I'm not going to do too much over there because I have that massive, like, ingrown hair or whatever the hell it is. So I'm just going to leave that alone. <clears throat> we will switch hands and get the other side here. I watched um, Justin, the Red Island Shaver, do his budget shave, and uh, he had himself a nice shave, and he was using a uh, vintage razor that um, he mentioned, you know, he got it off eBay or something like that, and he said it doesn't really get much better than that. You could, this for the same price, you can get a uh, Gillette off the shelves at your local supermarket you could go and get a vintage uh, DE on eBay and instead of getting one uh, blade with the Gillette at the supermarket you could get yourself a whole swath of blades you know what I mean for the same price so, it's just a no-brainer, really. If you're interested at all in, in you know, traditional-style shaving, it's just a no-brainer. Hit up eBay, get yourself a vintage razor in good condition. He had himself, like, a Gillette Tech that he said he got for around 10 bucks. I would recommend, you know, that's a good place to start. I like my Schicks, and I think they're very user-friendly. Um, you could get a vintage Schick for around the same price. And um, you just can't beat that, so... I totally agree with Justin when it came to his uh, budget shave and his uh, razor of choice. All right. So, uh, 
It'll probably be a thousand years before I get a thousand subs. <laughs> so if you ever want to see me do a uh, live shave with, uh, you know, the opportunity for you guys to chat and give me shit and, you know, just have fun, check me out on Instagram. Because <clears throat> I do um, probably one a week. But you never know. They're just kind of on the fly. I don't usually pre-plan them any more than I pre-plan my normal shaves. I just kind of, you know, pop the video on and get going, you know. So if you ever see me live on Instagram, which is uh, linked in the description of my YouTube videos, it's the same thing. It's just DK Damn Fine Shave. But if you ever want to get in on one of my lives, it'll probably be over on Instagram. Let me get this damn soap. Frank was giving me some shit. <laughs> he was like, what do we got to do to get you to shave that beard? <laughs> I just told him it's going to take a lot <laughs> to get me to shave this beard. I told him I was afraid of what's underneath. Probably got one hell of a double chin hidden under there. <laughs> All right, let's take a little some drink here. All right. We'll go ahead and uh, finish up with some Oleo's Windy City. Hopefully Vita has uh, upgraded the labels. I think this one got a little bit of alcohol on it or I don't know. It looks like it's uh, showing its age, but it's really some good stuff. I like Windy City. It's a, it's a sweet barber shop with a, a hint of gun smoke, which makes it unique in its class and it's a, it, the gun smoke isn't like overpowering or anything. It's just there. It's subtle. But, um, it's one of my favorites. And I just love Oleo's products. And, uh, just fantastic. Unique in its class and fantastic. So, there's that. Oleo Soap Works, Windy City Barbershop. Fantastic. Loose groove shaving, uncomfortably numb. Fantastic. That soap performs well. It has good original and residual slickness. It has um, kind of like a nice medium lather density. Doesn't dissipate on your face. Um, it's easy to lather up. You're not sitting there for ages and ages. Can't complain about it, Rick. You got a good soap base there. And great scent. Um, Lancaster Bowl. Old Faithful. I love this thing. Um, hopefully he'll make some more soon. And maybe uh, those of you who are interested can nab one. Um, I also used my That Darn Rob. With the dyed purple wood. And black top. With the uh, Fanchurian Badger Knot. Nice density. Super soft tips. Nice medium backbone. Right up my alley. Um, just perfect for my use. And of course I got my Lancaster towel. And when I wrap this up, I'm going to be using my heirloom razor strop. So, to refine that edge. So that's that, guys. Went ahead and I enjoyed myself some uh, American lager there. And uh, that's it. That was a good one. Saturday shave in the books. So cheers. From the Pilsner flute, we'll go pinky out. Fantastic.